we're going to move to a segment that I absolutely love. I've had some phenomenal mentors in my life, and this is a spot where uh, you've got an opportunity to kind of give a shout out to a mentor. So we call this this segment, Thank a Mentor. Uh, and so I'm just curious, is there a mentor or two that you want to give a shout out to, to say thank you, uh, to, that helped mm-hmm. you get to where you've gotten to today? Yes, yes. So uh, um, first one that kind of came to mind was my mom, which is, I feel like kind of a cheesy answer, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, she, she, well, she's been a stay-at-home mom, but I would say she's like the queen of side hustles. But, like whenever I told her I was doing this, uh, she was like, did you tell him? Are you going to tell him that you shoe modeled? Are you going to tell him that I shoe modeled and made a living out of it? Are you going to tell him? And I was like, I'm probably not going to tell him all of those things but she is very big on um like i don't want to say she tries and fails because she doesn't fail a lot of times but she will try and then if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but listen i tried you know um and so i feel like for me that was something that was really encouraging to see growing up um and that's also like i saw it from her but that's also a huge lesson that gymnastics taught me because um you fail way more than you succeed like you fall and fall and fall you might finally get the skill um but you failed many many times first and that's something that i try to tell a lot of my clients as well where i'm like you'll fall on your butt like what's the worst that's the worst that's gonna happen we'll be all right i promise um and so that would be my first one and then second one i loved our master's program so i i wonder how Lindsay would has Lindsay answered this question she's not no i'd be curious because i wonder who from our program she would list because i seriously like they were all so good in different ways um me well mainly i'm thinking of dr casper and then dr webster um, Dr. Casper just cracks me up. Um, and I'm still in contact with him, uh, as I'm sure a lot of, a lot of um, his previous students, his previous students are, but, um, he's just, he's just great. And then Dr. Webster as well. And he kind of had the same, I feel like mentality where he's like, just give it a go. What's the worst that can happen. Yeah. And so I feel like seeing that, just like that pattern all throughout my life, I'm like, you know what, all of these adults that I look up to just tell me to try. So like, I guess I'll just try. We'll see how it goes. Um, and so far that's worked out for me. <laughs> so I think <laughs> I'll just keep right. that up. That's too funny. Yeah. I, I, uh, I'm fairly confident, uh, Dr. Webster would be on Lindsay's list. They yeah. become pretty close family friends and yeah. uh, those two, those two uh, like each other quite a bit. And actually, in fact, for my wife's side, um, she actually started supporting, uh, Dr. Dr. Webster's, uh, father who was 90 at the time. And so mm-hmm. Lindsay used to go hang out, uh, with, uh, Dr. Webster's father and, and do some work. And, and that was something that I think really kind of started some of this interest for Lindsay with working with older adults. And, and so, yeah, I think, I think they'd probably be up at the top of that list, but you know, yeah, it's interesting well, I worked rock- with him too. Okay. Um, yeah. I think, I'm not sure if Lindsay did or I did first, I'm not sure. Um, but in the summer, yeah, I like made him a program and I would, um, not work out with him, but I would like help yeah. him do balance exercises and things like that. And I, I agree. I agree. I feel like that's a, I, that probably was one of the initial like that sparked my interest too. Yeah. Yeah. They used to, uh, she used to go over to their house and go for walks with, uh, George is his name. And, uh, you know, 91 year old and her out there doing some yeah. strolling around the neighborhood, some very fond memories of our time in Valdosta. Uh, yeah. so one, one thing that hit me, uh, and it was when you gave the shout out to your mom, which I love maybe a little cheesy, but also heartfelt, which I, I think is really cool. <laughs> Um, after the Super Bowl this year, the quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles, Jalen Hurts, said, uh, "You either win or you grow," and, and I think yeah. that's such a, a such a great mm-hmm. kind of phrase to think about what you were talking about when you're talking about your mom. Is sometimes from the outside, uh, and even with side hustles in general, you know, people will say, "Oh, it's a failure. You didn't you didn't accomplish what you wanted to do." But I think when the mindset is I either win or I learn, <laughs> or I, yeah. I win or I grow. Yeah. Um, it takes some pressure off too, and and so you see all of these different experiences as knowledge that's been gained, and then ultimately at the end of the day, you just kind of keep getting better and better uh, until that kind of right thing aligns, and, and you have that opportunity. So oh, that's kind of cool about your story with your mom. 